American MC got in touch with us here at Red Dragon Flag Makers and we've been commissioned to make the American flag to hang in the ambassador's quarters. So we've just started out drawing all the lines on the material. Um, we mark it out with chalk and make all the measurements and then next we cut the flag. Um, obviously it's like a, it's a massive big thing to, to be um, making flags to go to London. We've done so many different projects already but this is really good because it's such a big flag as well so it's exciting to be part of it. We're just really proud to think about it as a little Welsh company from Wales that we're going to be going up to London to present the flag to the US Embassy. A little piece of Wales in London representing for America as well. Red Dragon Flags is set up by Jo Ashburner. She's our CEO and um, very much the head of the family as we like to call her. There's our lovely Jo. Our CEO and Operations Director. Sunning herself in Italy at the moment but still working really, really hard remotely via a phone and a tablet and answering questions. We create hand-sewn flags for all over the world, globally. Our little business has grown exponentially over the last five years and we are now producing a ridiculous amount of flags for um, anything you can imagine really that would need a flag and we've been able to assist and help with. We are a social enterprise. We are the only social enterprise flag-making manufacturer in the whole world. But what really makes us unique is our staff and our teamwork ethic. All the staff here are equal share partners. We all work as a team. We don't have any hierarchical system. Um, everybody has a real interest in the social mission of this business. The financial assistance that we received from WCVA was for expansion and obviously for a, a major piece of equipment that we have to this day and um, has allowed us to expand our product line and it's enabled us to create a bespoke apprenticeship program um, which is letting us train staff on an eight stage apprenticeship program from different backgrounds get them in get them upskilled and get them into the business working a skilled trade we wouldn't have been able to do this without our financial support from the WCVA and that legacy then will be continued onward um, for the next five to ten years within our, within our business plan we have that made in Wales ethic you know where it's all made with heart, with love, with soul. So, um, yeah, there's been quite a lot going on, which is exciting, but <laughs> everyone needs a coffee break. Yeah.